Thank you for giving me presentation opportunity. I'm Nozomi Ito. Today, I'd like to talk about spread of test automation and Selenium community in Japan. First, I'd like to introduce about test automation. If you create a website, for example, you need to test. You need to check if it works correctly. And the test press is usually done by manual test, like image above, human test and manipulate browser and check if works correctly. But if you use Selenium, you can easily automate the, this test process. Once you create a test program, Selenium automatically manipulates browser and easily you can get a test result. Also, I need to introduce Selenium. Selenium is the world's most famous browser testing tool and open, provided by open source. Open source means it is free and anyone can use it, anyone can modify it, and even anyone can contribute to its development project. The easiest way to understand Selenium is watching demo. Yeah, please switch to, yeah. First, you record your manipulation of browser. Click checkbox, input text to input area, and click button, and so on. All action is recorded by Selenium. And then you, you stop recording, and click play, playback button. Then your recorded operation will be mm, Playback, played back, like this. Uh, it is succeeded. Yeah. I think this is very good technology. And uh, in in 2012, where uh, when I established the test automation company Trident Inc., I want to I wanted to make this new technology popular in Japan. But at that time, there are many difficulties. First, only small number of Selenium users in Japan. And second, there is no Selenium community in Japan. One year passed, there is still no Selenium community in Japan. So this is my first challenge. Finally, I launched this community by myself. And luckily, uh, uh, IT media wrote an article about this community and soon 100 members joined this web forum. And next year, our first meetup happened. And amazingly, Selenium, uh, Selenium creator Jason Hangis came from US to Japan and uh, attended our meetup. That is an amazing result for our first meetup. And the next three years, we periodically held Selenium meetup. 2015, 2016, and 2017. In 2017, three Selenium committers came to Japan. Jim, Manoj, and Marcus. Also, community members are gradually increased. And uh, now, um, sorry, the uh, date is a little long. And yeah, now, uh, 2019, uh, November, forum member is more than 500, and the chat room member is more than 600. So everything goes well. I'm very satisfied with this result. But next, the next challenge came to me. This is the new conference. One day, um, overseas Selenium project member contacted us and requested that uh, they want uh, us to hold a global Selenium conference in Japan. This is an annual conference, but never held in Japan. So I thought uh, there exists uh, lots of uncertainty. First is, can we really attract uh, enough sponsors and attendees? Mm. No one knows this. And the bigger problem is who takes financial responsibility. When this conference ends in deficit, 
who owns this burden? We have no answer. We had no answer, and uh, this prize was pending about one year. But after one year, after um, a big software test organization in Japan said uh, they can back up us, and finally, our planning has started. And 19, mm, uh, sorry, 2019 April, finally, Selenium Conference Tokyo happened. Mm. We, ha we had many concerns before having this conference, but uh, luckily, this conference finally made a huge success. Mm. About uh, mm, four, 430 attendees came from 26 countries, and 20 big companies become our sponsors. When I started the Selenium community, I couldn't imagine we, we could hold, hold such a big conference. And also, many great organizing team, volunteer team, joined us and helped us. This is amazing. And after this conference, Selenium conference give me also give me another new opportunities. First opportunity is Selenium Communities Kansai Branch. Inspired by this Selenium Conference, Lactens, Lactens engineer Kim San launched the Kansai Branch in Kansai and held the first its meetup. This is amazing. Another opportunity for me is speaking at international conference. After this conference, after the Selenium conference, I got uh, several opportunities to have a talk at the international conference. APM conference in India, TCS joint conference at, with Taiwan, and the today's, today's conference, Lactin Technology Conference 2019. I think Selenium conference gave a big impact to Japan, but it also gave me a great opportunity. So, my challenge is not finished yet. My current and next challenge is AI plus test automation. Selenium is a very good tool, but there still remains many difficulties. And uh, I'd like to overcome such difficulties by AI technologies. The difficulty is such as setup complexity, especially for mobile and the scripting difficulty, especially for no programmer, and the maintenance cost. So I want to, I want to um, improve this problem by, by AI technologies. And the magic pot is our current and latest product and uses machine learning and AI technologies. It has three main features. First feature is their setup for mobile. Thanks to cloud, our cloud device, users, users don't need any setup effort. Users can easily start creating testing and running tests on browser. And next feature is AI-powered readable script. Script is, thanks to AI's power, test script is very e easy to understand and readable for human. And third, third feature is AI-powered self-healing. If test is broken due to, due to UI change, AI automatically healing this problem. So this is our new features. I believe Selenium Conference gave a big impact to Japan and changed Japan's quality assurance community. So I believe my next challenge, Magic Pot, also will change the landscape of Japan and also global test automation again. Thank you so much. <laughs>